of things have certainly turned for our friend Jack. <laughs> I wish the back pain weren't getting in us so much, but uh, yeah, how about that? Victor Newman actually lost one battle. <laughs> I've waited long enough for this. Yeah, I agree with you. About time. About time. Listen. Uh, part of my joy in coming out to these things is hearing what you like and what you don't like. So Nash is going to make her way around with a microphone. If you have questions, uh, uh, questions will lead into other things I can talk about. But I always kind of like you guys to spur this. So when the mic comes to you, if there's something you really don't like, and we don't take tons of time with it, but, but say I hate this or I love this, uh, and, and, and I'll take it back with me and let them know. Hi, Peter. Hi. I'm a super huge fan. Good way. Super huge since I'm like 12. And I'm like over the hill. But How old does that this, make me? <laughs> you're a sweetheart, young at heart. My question is not about the show because I follow it the whole bit. It's hopefully the show never goes off the air. Oh, I've got, I've so got good news. I don't want the show to go off the air. I've got very good news for you. <laughs> uh, uh, we have. We're, we just renewed uh, 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 another two years uh, in 2000, 2014. It'll go past that. Here's what they've learned. They took these other shows off. I was sad about it. I had friends there, and they've never been able to replace them. None of the other shows are working. None of them are working like the soap operas did. So they have kind of learned their lesson. So unless we're really in the toilet, and we're not, we have a giant <laughs> audience in America, and a giant audience in Canada. Woo! Yay! As long as that's true, we have a show. Uh, okay. uh, Who do I like working with the best? Well, um, it's funny, they have me working with Phyllis again. <laughs> and, and Michelle and I get to laugh a lot. We, we do get to, she's out of her mind. She's, uh, she's she, one, one, one of my closest friends and, uh, and uh, certifiable, God bless hey, her. Uh, and has a wonderful new baby that I adore, that my wife adores, and uh, uh, yeah, she, she's probably, I'm probably closer to her than most of the people on the show. And she's certifiable on the show and off, that's right. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, my name is Lori, I'm really nervous right now. Um, I'm really getting tired of the Sharon thing. I really would have yeah! to smarten up and, you know, now that he's got Newman with you, I really hope that he would do something with Sharon. I'm a little concerned about Sharon. <laughs> wow. Like no other character on the show, boy, have they trashed Sharon. So, uh, watch Sharon's on a slow path back to normal, uh, but it's a slow path. Uh, but there are good stuff. There's good stuff ahead for sure. Hi there. Hi, Jack. Peter. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know who in the show is really your love of your life. Who are the, 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 the show? Jack, Jack. The love of Jack's life. Yes. Here's what I always say to that question. Jack falls in love face first. He, he's not. He, he's not careful at all. He. He just. So every one of these women he has been deeply in love with. For that reason, for, for, I've been there for 23 years, every time Jack is in the room with Nikki, every time Jack is in the room with Sharon, every time Jack is in the room with Phyllis, every, every wife he's had still has a hold on him. Still has a hold on him. Uh, but I, you know, I think the, the great love of Jack's life is Phyllis. I just want to say I love that Jack finally wins. I, I do too. Like that. <laughs> and I just want to say my all-time favorite Jack scene was when uh, uh, Victor took over Jabot and came in and he wanted your office and he said, you want this chair? Oh, yeah. And then threw it, out the window. threw it off the window. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I, we want to see more of that. I love that scene too. Here, I'll tell you my favorite. Yeah. I've been doing this for 23 years. Uh, one day, Jack is in Victor's office, and they're arguing and fighting, and Victor's temper is getting the best of him, and suddenly he seizes his chest, 
and falls to the ground. And Jack is left with two choices. He can call and ask for help, or he can get in the elevator and leave the building. You'll never guess what Jack chose. But on my way out, I kicked his hand. And they got it. They caught it on camera. I was so happy because, you know, normally they shoot you up here. No, they got that hand kicked out of the way. And I went to the elevator. Just great. I, Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. The uh, question I have for you is, um, the episodes that they're showing now is where you've asked Adam to look after Newman while you're in the hospital having surgery. That's right. And I'm just wondering, can we uh, expect more scenes between you and Michael Muni? Yes, Michael Muni and I are going to be working together a lot. Uh, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, they, 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 they are kindred spirits of a sort. Both Harvard graduates, both, uh, bo both went to Harvard Business School, uh, both uh, kind of the, the, uh, the uh, black sheep in their family. Uh, yeah, uh, Jack has a, a, there's something about Adam that Jack trusts, and it may be a mistake. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Um, I wanted to know who you think, or who you would like Jack to end up with. Who would I like to Jack to end up with? I think Catherine Chancellor. <laughs> yeah, I just think between the two of us, we got enough money there that it could be a golden life. It really I love Hi, Catherine. Peter. Hi there. Like the others, thank you so much for coming. Thanks. Um, please tell me the rumors aren't true that Billy Miller is leaving. The rumors are that Billy is leaving, and, and the truth is that Billy is working very hard negotiating a way to stay with us. Billy's gotten out to do some other things, and he likes being able to do them, and there's been a new regime, and they're trying to figure out a way to give him the freedom to do those things and stay on the show, but they're really working on it now. So, uh, so uh, I've got my fingers crossed, too. Hello, Jack. Hello. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look very nice, too. I think it's going to be hard for Jack to ever forgive Genevieve. Uh, but, as I said earlier, he's not completely himself when he's in a room with her. It's just Jack, 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 Jack. <laughs> he falls face first. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's going to be a hard one to forgive. Hello. Hi. Um, I've been watching your show forever. And I just want to know, why did the directors Uh, 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 in fairness, it was 36 hours. <laughs> and, and we just had a changing of the guard of writers. And, it, and part of the reason is stories like that. Yeah. That we got, it got crazy there for a while. We've got new writers who are very good. And you probably have noticed lately, things have picked up in the last month. This last month is a sign of where we're going with the show. Uh, more and more uh, uh, scenes between the people you really care about. Hello. Hi, Peter. Hi. You're very charming. Okay. Ah. Well, thanks. <laughs> is Ashley coming back? Is Ashley coming back? This is Peter Bergman's cause celeb. I have been bothering them so much about this lately, you have no idea. She's on Days of Our Lives right now, and I am working very hard to get her back to The Young and the Restless. They all know it. They see me coming. Oh, God, he's going to talk to me about Eileen. You know, but, uh, but yeah, I, I'm on a campaign, and you can help me. Write to them. Let them know. Email Young and the Restless. Write to them and let them know, we miss Ashley. We want Ashley back because, yeah, she's a very important part of the Adam family. Um, first of all, I have to say hi from someone. Lindsay Fonseca says to say hi and send her love. Thank you. And um, my question is about filming. So, um, how much before do you get the script and then film it? And like, how long does that take? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I get my script a week ahead of time. So, I, if I get a, I go into my dressing room on Tuesday, 
and there's next Tuesday's script. Uh, so I, I sit down, and you'd be surprised. I read it right away. Like you, I can't wait to see what happens. I mean that seriously. I can't wait to see what happens. I read my scenes first, and then I kind of filter through to see what else is going on in the show, and then I put it down, and unless it's a very difficult show, I don't pick up that script again until Wednesday. No, excuse me, until Monday. The, the, the Monday before. And the night before I come in to shoot the show, I probably spent 45 minutes to an hour with no one, and my dogs can't come near me. Uh, no one comes near, the kids stay away, the wife stays away, I'm alone with my script for 45 minutes, and I'm usually pretty much on target. And I'm a fairly fast study. Come in, take the show, I have to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning, hopefully we're done by 6 o'clock at night. And then, as soon as I'm done at 6 o'clock, I uh, 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 sit down and did Cornwell. I have my own, own way of learning my lines, but I am learning my lines for tomorrow on my way home in my car. <laughs>